Hey, I'm Andrew. I'm Dennis. We're the Crafty Lumberjacks. Today we're partnering up with Plaid Crafts and working with their new folk art sign shop. Yes, we're super excited. You see these signs everywhere. They're in stores, they're on Etsy, but they're pretty expensive. Plaid has come out with a way to turn you into a sign making expert. Whether you um, sell them online or whether you like creating for your own home and your, your friends to give as gifts, Plaid has really thought about everything for this system here. Yes. They came out with these uh, reusable adhesive uh, screen stencils. Um, they have a whole bunch of pre-made designs or they even have ones that you can kind of cut together and piece together yeah, to make your own. Fonts. Yes, really and because nice. it has that screen um, stencil there, it's going to give you that detail that you can't really get when you're working with a regular stencil. That's what I'm most excited about, just yes. like seeing the difference. And of course this plaid one. I know, of course you have to get that one. Naturally. Okay, and now they also came out with acrylic stencil paste. So it's a little bit thicker than actual acrylic. So it's really going to adhere to the stencil really well and give you that nice clean result. They yes. come in different palette colors, which is so nice. So they do all that hard work for you. For you you know, I will stand, Dennis knows this, I will stand and stare at colors trying to think what goes together. Oh. Plaid made it really easy and just like bundles them up. So to put them on, they came out with new brushes and new squeegees. Again, I just like really want to get into yes, it. Yes, I'm so excited. And you know, we were really shocked. We were like, oh, we're going to be buying all this new product, yeah. you know, because we always buy craft materials. And uh, we were actually really shocked when we went to Michael's. You can find all of these materials at all Michael's. Michael's. Uh, how inexpensive it was. Yeah, especially since you're gonna be reusing um, the mesh um, stencils and this paint really goes a long way. Yes, so stay tuned. We're gonna be showing you how to apply the stencil, how to apply the paint, and also how to clean the stencil so that you can reuse yes. it over and over and over again. All right, so I'm gonna be using one of the stencils from this pack. It's so great. They really think of themes for each kind of stencil yes. kit here, and there's a lot in here. There really is. I love this vintagey look. And then you can cut the stencil. Uh, they give you like a nice line, um, just so you know where to cut. Yes. And you want to save your uh, your backing here because once we clean it, you wanna have uh, something to put your stencil back onto. So you wanna make sure you hold on to the backing of the stencil here. And again, it is a light adhesive, so it is a little tacky, but it's not gonna be so tacky that you can't use it over and over or that it will damage any of your surface that you're working yes, with. that's the worst. Have you ever had a stencil where you put it on and then you peel it off and then the, oh the surface gosh, is ruined? Oh my gosh, all that work. You know, and this, uh, it's a light adhesive. Um, and so that means also it's removable. So if you try to center it and it doesn't look good, you can just peel it right up, you know, and uh, remove it and adjust, which I love. I do too, because I'm, I never, I never center it correctly the first time. I'm always like a three time person, you know? Yes, I might be a three time person myself. So cute. And then, so here we're using the little uh, acrylic stencil paste. And uh, this is the, the variety pack that we got here. So there's a lot of beautiful bright colors. And now you can use a little palette like I'm using here, but you can also put the paint right onto the stencil there and then apply the paint. Um, and actually I wanted it to be pink. So you can actually blend to make your own colors. I which I'm going that. to try. I don't, this is first time doing it. I know, it. first time and we're really going all out. But you know, that's kind of how we do it here. I love that though. Yes. I love that you can mix. You, they actually can... have a pink, but we, we didn't get that one. We should have, now looking back. I know, that's all right. That's good. I think so. Now, what's great about this paint too, is a little will go a long way. Yes. So again, if you are a maker and you sell these in your own shop, you know, you're gonna be getting more more profit here than, uh, you know, spending. Yeah, definitely. And they actually sell um, bigger uh, paint tubes or paste tubes, I should say, of the white and the black, which are such great colors because I feel like black and white never goes out of style. That's so true. So what I also like here too, is that the squeegee pack comes with different sizes. So they have a wide variety of different sizes of stencils. So uh, they really thought of that too. They gave you smaller little um, squeegees to medium size yes. to large size. And again, also they have the brushes that you can work with, which is a shorter brush. So you're not kind of scraping and um, you know, the brush is getting everywhere. Yeah, they really thought of everything and really tried to cater it exactly to this craft. 
I think that looks like a pretty good color. What do you think? Yeah, I just wanted to use the um, larger All right. scraper here. So I'm gonna start, just put a little bit on your scraper and then I'm gonna go for it. Make sure that this is pressed down really well. And you just wanna pass, you'll actually see it being applied there. You can see what's been filled in, what hasn't been filled in. So I'm just gonna grab some more paint and go over it again. And it's almost like spackling, isn't it? Yes, exactly like spackling. And then come back this way. So you're just pressing down nice and hard as you yeah, go. Yeah, I'm pressing down pretty firmly and just dragging across the stencil there. Wow. And now you do wanna work, uh, not quickly, but a little quickly because it does, you do wanna peel it up when it's wet. Yes. Um, so you wanna make sure you have your paint ready, your, your brush ready and all that. What I like about this too is that it's a quick, you know, it's a, it's a quick project. It really is. Like yes. all you have to do is scrape and peel off. I love that. I love, I love a project. And that here I'm gonna try you. a little ombre effect for the weir. I have to say, you're doing a really great job for your first time. Thank you. It's really easy. I mean, yes, we're pros, but you know, we're, we mess up too. We, we have accidents, we make mistakes. Oh, of course. All right, so I think that's pretty wow. good. I'm just gonna scrape off some excess paint here. Okay. And really, when you look at the palette, we didn't use that much paint at all. All right, you're gonna peel it, oh my god. Gonna peel it, our first big reveal here. Wow. Pretty cute. Oh my gosh, that looks really cute. Oh my god. You can see all these little details are from the stencil. That's how they wanted it to be. So they wanted yes. it to look like- So I have a little be. spillage there from my blue, but that was like my fault. But I think it looks really I cute. Think it looks really great. All right, we have to wash the stencil while it's wet. So let's go do that. Yes, let's go to the kitchen. Really simple, we're just gonna wash that down with a little mild soap and water till all that uh, leftover paint is off. Yes, and you'll see that the tint of the paste won't fully come off, but don't worry, that's not gonna affect your next stencil. And once you're done, let it dry and then put it back on the backing. It's that easy. Not too bad for oh, my first great. time. Yeah. I definitely think the more you work with the product, um, you'll figure out which works best for you. Uh, but I'm really happy with how this turned out. It looks kind of retro and vintage, but that is like the current trend right now. And that's something we always seek always out. Always seek um, out. You know, and it really looks like uh, professionally screen printed on. Yes, and what we love about this product is you can use it on any base. So we just did this wood cutout that we found at Michael's. Where we're gonna do our next project on this larger wood cutout using a large stencil. I, I mean, the options are endless. Yes, and um, even Teddy is excited to try. He's, 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 wants, actually, he's gonna do this next one. I guess, he wants a new treat bowl. All right, we're gonna start with our larger stencil here. The same thing, we actually ended up painting this uh, white with just regular acrylic paint. Yes, with folk art acrylic paint. I'm gonna do my best to center it. Does that look good? It looks good from here. Yeah, you just wanna press down really well just so you know that adhesive really sticks and it doesn't get any, uh, any spillage underneath. And we really love that little ombre effect that we did on our last sign. So I think I'm gonna try that here for this one. We already have our paint picked out. I'm gonna start with my beans. Beans. And we're just using this little... Um... Squeegee. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, trying to think of the color here. Oh, oh. Well, it's a bean color. Oh my gosh, this is actually making me just want coffee. I know, me too. I also just love this sound. <laughs> yeah. <it's... laughs> the kind of going through the mesh sound there. It's, it's very really satisfying. Yes. All right, and now I'm gonna use the medium one here and I'm gonna do, I guess, blue on top. That sounds good. I love this, this teal. I do too, I it's really love really that pretty. sign you just made. We actually had a whole different color palette picked and we love this teal so much, we switched it around just for that.
Oh, you know, it's it's out of habit, you know, paint, I'm like dragging and dipping, but you know, you can really just scrape and pick up. You know, less is more, less is more. Now I'm gonna add my second color here, the yellow. I'm gonna use the smaller squeegee for that. And these colors are so vibrant, it's really great. And what's great too is you can really see uh, the coverage that you get. So if you see an area and you know you need to go back, you can tell right away. Yeah, totally. Sorry, I'm just taking my time with this because you know I want it to look good. Well, of course. Also, it's kind of a soothing process, isn't it? <laughs> yes. You know, if I wasn't on camera, it would be more soothing. <laughs> but of course, when it's on camera, it gets a little, uh, you know, nerve wracking because you want it to be the best yeah. it can be, you know? Okay, now I'm just going to do black here for the last one. I'm going to use the large squeegee. squeegee. The large squeegee. I was gonna say you could also you can also put the paint directly on the, the stencil. stencil. I was actually thinking with this something larger, that's probably a that's better probably the option. Uh-huh. But you live, you learn. Absolutely. I'm actually gonna do for my touch-ups, I'll do a little dab here. Yeah, I think that actually would help. You know, I keep thinking we live in Astoria, New York, and we are fortunate enough to live in an old school neighborhood where they have sign makers. Uh, still who paint signs by hand and you see the the work that goes into this and this has such a similar effect it really is it's so comparable but it just brings me back to those really like old school nostalgic signs which I'm always loving all right we're almost ready to remove this stencil I'm just going to touch up these areas here just adding a little more all right, here we go. All right, the big, big reveal. Big reveal, let's see. Wow. Oh my gosh. Here, let me help you hold it. Pretty cute. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at it. That looks so great. Same deal here, we're just gonna rinse off our stencil with mild soap and water. If you don't have a sink close by, you can just set a little bowl by your workspace and set it in that. We also wanted to show how easy it is to clean the tools. Uh, the paint rinses right off. So all of this product is all reusable. Yeah, which is so great. You could even use a baby wipe uh, while you work just to uh, you know, change different paint colors. They really did make it as easy for the crafter as they could. Yeah, so even like a damp paper towel, it yeah. all cleans up right off, and it looks like new. All right, well, Dennis was having so much fun with this, I just needed to give it a go. And since you were such a great teacher, let's see how I do. So remember, you just want to press it down, and you really don't need a lot of paste. And think of it more like spackling. This is just like what I'm telling myself. I'm just trying to go over what Dennis has taught so far. Ooh, and I'm gonna try the paintbrush. Okay, I actually really like how it goes on. It actually goes on really nice and smooth. Um, ooh, very nice, I like it. And I'm just gonna peel it off while it's still wet. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Oh my gosh, they came out awesome. Yes. You see how easy it is to personalize and create your own sign for any holiday, any event, yes. any weddings. weddings, graduations, bar mitzvahs. We're really excited about the holidays. Yes, yeah, so excited to, to try this yes. for the holidays. Oh my gosh. Now, all these products are exclusively at Michael's, so run, do not walk, go online, check it out. We just had such a great afternoon. Yes, and this. let us know if you try it. We'd love to hear about it in Absolutely. the comment below. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, we're needy and we hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. I'm Andrew. I'm Dennis. And we are the Crafty Lumberjacks. You have your space in need of some sprucing. Couple of guys worth introducing. They know their way around the craft store. Finding deals and oh so much more. What should you put in your kitchen nook? Trust Dennis and Andrew. They wrote the book. 
a little bit of glitter and creativity. Crafting up some fun, is there a cup of tea? Bring your hot glue gun, grab some snacks. Time to get artsy with the crafty lumberjacks. Woo! Can't read my cue card.